Unit One: The Interview. Introduction. Hi, my name's Jane. I'm only 24 years old, and today is my first day at my new job. I'm very excited. I've just graduated from university. I can't wait to start working and meet new friends. Hmm. I don't know what to wear today. Shall I wear this one or this one? I choose this one. My new job is wonderful. Do you want to know how I got it? It all started with an interview. Hi, my name's Jane. I'm only 24 years old, and today is my first day at my new job. I've just graduated from university. I'm here for the interview. Yes, yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello. I'm here for the interview. Hi. What's your name? My name is Jane. Hi, Jane. And who are you seeing? Mr. Smith, the sales and marketing manager. Okay. Just take the lift to the fifth floor. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Hello, I'm here for the interview. Hi, Jane. And who are you seeing? Mr. Smith, the sales and marketing manager. Educational experience. Have you been waiting long? No, I just arrived here. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm very glad for this opportunity. When did you graduate from university? I graduated six months ago. What faculty were you in? I was in the faculty of secretarial studies. Did you enjoy studying? I did enjoy studying, but I wanted to start work as soon as possible. That's good. I'm very glad for this opportunity. When did you graduate from university? I graduated six months ago. What faculty were you in? I was in the faculty of secretarial studies. Work experience. Would you like to see my resume? Yes, please. Here's my resume. Thank you. Could you tell me where was your last job? Certainly. I was working at the Asia Finance Bank. And why did you leave that job? Because I was looking for more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Any other reasons? Also, it was far from home. Well, I am looking for a new secretary. If you give me this job, I will work very hard. Would you like to see my resume? Yes, please. Could you tell me where was your last job? Certainly. I was working at the Asia Finance Bank. And why did you leave that job? Because I was looking for more of a challenge. Unit 2. My Job Description. So as you can see, I was very excited. After that, we talked about my job description. Your skills. What were your favorite topics at university? My favorite topics were letter writing, dictation, and filing studies. What do you think are your strengths? I have good patience and English language skills. Hmm. Are you computer literate? Yes, I can use Windows and Excel. Can you type? Yes, 50 words per minute. Hmm. Are you familiar with the Internet? Yes, I am familiar with the Internet. I like surfing in my free time. Hmm. What is your favorite website? My favorite website is www.bbc.com. 
<laughs> what were your favorite topics at university? My favorite topics were letter writing, dictation, and filing studies. What do you think are your strengths? I have good patience and English language skills. Hmm. Are you computer literate? Can you type? Hmm. Are you familiar with the internet? Getting a job. Can you work with larger groups of people? Yes, I enjoy working in a large team. Do you mind working on weekends? No, I don't mind working on weekends. Well, you look like the person I need. Thank you. I would really like this job. Okay. I'll give you a job as my secretary. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. When would you like to start working? As soon as possible. Next Monday at 9 a.m.? Next Monday sounds fine. Okay. So we'll see you next Monday at 9 a.m. Congratulations! Thank you very much for this opportunity. I will not disappoint you. Good, because I like hard-working people. Then I am your girl. I certainly hope so. I should get ready now, otherwise I'll be late. It would be really bad if I was late for my first day of work. Can you work with larger groups of people? Yes, I enjoy working in a large team. Do you mind working on weekends? When would you like to start working? As soon as possible. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I will not disappoint you. Unit 3. Arriving at my new office. Greetings. Ah, good morning. Are you Jane? Yes, I'm Jane. Ah, you're just on time. Can I go up? Yes, Mr. Smith is waiting for you on the fifth floor. Thank you. Come in. Hello, Jane. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Are you ready to start work? Yes, I am. I'm a little busy now, so my assistant Anna will take care of you. Wait, and I'll call her for you. Okay. Anna, could you come next door and show Jane around, please? Thank you. Ah, good morning. Are you Jane? Yes, I'm Jane. Are you ready to start work? Yes, I am. In the new office. And this is your new office. It's nice and bright. Oh, in my room, it's right next door. Is there a telephone intercom system? Yes, there is. And is it easy to use? Yes, it is very easy to use. How many people are working in the marketing and sales department? Mm, there are about 20 people who work in the department. And am I the youngest employee? Yes, you are. This is your job description and contract. I'll need you to review them and sign them. I think I need some time to organize myself. That's fine. I'll be back in about 30 minutes. That's plenty of time. Thank you. Is there a telephone intercom system? How many people are working in the marketing and sales department? I think I need some time to organize myself. Unit 4. Talking with my new boss. Getting ready to work. Jane, are you free now? Yes, I am. Will you come to my office now, please? Yes, David. I'll be there in a moment. So, Jane, how are you settling in? Everything seems to be fine. 
Have you got everything you need? No, not yet. I need to go to the stationery department. Okay, I'll ask Anna to show you later. Will she also show me around the office? <laughs> yes, of course she will. It looks like a big place. If you have any problems or questions, you can always ask Anna. So, Jane, how are you settling in? Everything seems to be fine. Have you got everything you need? No, not yet. I need to go to the stationery department. About the contract. Have you read and signed your contract yet? Yes, I have. Here it is. Do you understand the terms and conditions? Yes, I think so. If you have any questions, you can ask me any time. Okay. How long does the probation period last? The probation period lasts for three months. And then what happens? What happens is that I will review your performance. Can you tell me what parts of my performance you will look at? Yes, I will look at your punctuality, work performance, and your relations with me. What happens if I do not pass my probation? If you do not pass, then you will need to find another job. Do I get a second chance here? No, I'm sorry. You do not get a second chance here. Have you read and signed your contract yet? Do you understand the terms and conditions? How long does the probation period last? The probation period lasts for three months. Can you tell me what parts of my performance you will look at? Yes, I will look at your punctuality, work performance, and your relations with me. Questions about office policy. And what is the yearly evaluation? Every year, I will evaluate your performance. And then what? Then, I will decide whether or not you deserve a pay raise. Does the company also provide medical insurance? Yes, we do. What kind of insurance is it? It is fully comprehensive. Do I get automatic cover? Yes, you do get automatic cover. How much holiday time am I allowed? You are allowed two weeks every year. Can I take it any time? Yes, you can take it any time. I think this is a fair company. Yes, we are a fair company. And what is the yearly evaluation? Every year, I will evaluate your performance. Then, I will decide whether or not you deserve a pay raise. Does the company also provide medical insurance? How much holiday time am I allowed? You are allowed two weeks every year. Unit 5, The Office Tour. Meeting new colleagues. So, Jane, are you ready to go on an office tour? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Okay. Anna will take you. Okay. These people all work on marketing. Oh, I see. And this is Joe? Hello, Joe. Nice to meet you. <laughs> meet Jane. This is David's new secretary. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. What do you do, Joe? I'm a delivery manager. Oh, and this is Mary. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. So you're the new secretary. Yes, I am. Well, I hope you last longer than the last one. The last what? The last secretary. <laughs> what happened to her? Nothing happened to her. Don't worry. They're only joking. Oh, I see. So, Jane, are you ready to go on an office tour? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Hello, mm -hmm. Joe. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. What do you do, Joe? I'm a delivery manager. Unit 6. Answering the telephone and transferring a call.
holding the line. Hello, this is the Multiplus company. Hello, is that the sales and marketing department? Yes, it is. How can I help you? I'd like to speak with Mr. Smith, please. Could I ask who is calling, please? Yes, my name is Michelle Anderson. Okay, Miss Anderson. Would you mind holding the line a moment? Thank you. Mr. Smith, you have a Miss Anderson on line one. Oh, no. I don't want to talk to her. Shall I tell her that you're busy and we'll call her back later? Yes, tell her that. Okay. How can I help you? I'd like to speak with Mr. Smith, please. Could I ask who is calling, please? Okay, Miss Anderson. Would you mind holding the line a moment? Taking a message. I'm afraid Mr. Smith is too busy right now to take your call. I see. Can you ask him to call me back, please? Certainly. Can I have your number? Yes. It's 444-1234. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Here you go. Oh. Did she say what she wanted? No, she just wants you to call her back. Anything else? No. Okay. Thanks. I'm afraid Mr. Smith is too busy right now to take your call. I see. Can you ask him to call me back, please? Certainly. Can I have your number? Yes. It's 441234. Leaving messages. Hello, Mr. Smith's office. Can I speak to Mr. Smith, please? I'm sorry. Mr. Smith is in a meeting right now. Oh, I see. This is an important call, though. Could I ask who is calling, please? Yes, I'm calling from Mr. Johnson's office. To whom am I speaking? My name is Jane. I'm Mr. Smith's new secretary. Nice to meet you, Jane. Could you please have Mr. Smith call Mr. Johnson today? What is it about? Mr. Johnson would like to talk about the prices of your products. Okay, I'll tell him as soon as he finishes his meeting. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Could I ask who is calling, please? Yes, I'm calling from Mr. Johnson's office. Mr. Johnson would like to talk about the prices of your products. Okay, I'll tell him as soon as he finishes his meeting. Unit 7, Making an Appointment. Asking for information. Good. Okay. I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Would you call Mr. Johnson for me, please? Certainly, I will. Straight away. Would you like me to schedule a meeting with him? Yes. What day? Next Monday. What time? 10 a.m. Where? Our office or theirs? I think theirs would be better. What shall I tell him the meeting is about? It is about our new pricing strategy. Hello. Could I have the office of Mr. Johnson, please? Certainly. Who is calling, please? I am calling from the office of Mr. Smith. Hold the line, please. Thank you. Would you call Mr. Johnson for me, please? Certainly, I will. Straight away. Would you like me to schedule a meeting with him? What shall I tell him the meeting is about? It is about our new pricing strategy. 
Hello, could I have the office of Mr. Johnson, please? Scheduling a meeting. Hello, how can I help you? Hello, I'm calling for Mr. Johnson. Oh, yes. I was expecting your call. I'm Mr. Johnson's secretary. I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. My name is Lisa. And you're Jane, right? Yes, you have a good memory. Well, Lisa, Mr. Smith would like to schedule a meeting with Mr. Johnson. Okay. When and where? Next Monday at your office. And what time would he be free? 10 a.m. All right. Let me check Mr. Johnson's diary first. Okay. 10 a.m. would be fine. Thank you. See you next Monday. Okay. See you next Monday. Is everything set up? Yes, everything is set up. Were there any problems? No, there weren't any problems. Good. I need you to take notes at the meeting, okay? No problem. I enjoy note-taking. Hello, I'm calling for Mr. Johnson. Oh, yes. I was expecting your call. I'm Mr. Johnson's secretary. I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Well, Lisa, Mr. Smith would like to schedule a meeting with Mr. Johnson. And what time would he be free? Is everything set up? Good. I need you to take notes at the meeting, okay? Unit 8. Meeting with a customer. Greeting a client. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Mr. Smith is here to meet Mr. Johnson. Do you have an appointment? Yes, 10 a.m. Oh, well, Mr. Johnson is waiting for you. Which floor? Please take the lift to the fourth floor. Thank you. You're welcome. David, good to see you. Hello, John. Mm. It's good to see you, too. How have you been? I've been busy. This is Jane, my new secretary. Nice to finally meet you, Mr. Johnson. You as well. This is my secretary, Lisa. Yes, we spoke on the phone before. Yes, nice to finally meet you, Lisa. Can I offer anyone some coffee or tea? I would like some tea, please. Coffee, please. For you, Mr. Johnson? Coffee, please. Okay, I'll be right back. So, David, should we get down to business? Yes, let's get to work. Mr. Smith is here to meet Mr. Johnson. Do you have an appointment? David, good to see you. Hello, John. Mm. It's good to see you, too. How have you been? I've been busy. So, David, should we get down to business? Yes, let's get to work. Unit 9, in the meeting. Discussing prices. So, John, what did you want to talk about? Well, it's about the new prices that you charge. What about my prices? Is there a problem? Well, yes, they are far too high. <laughs> no, they're not. Lisa, can you show Mr. Smith the competitor analysis that we did? Here it is, Mr. Smith. Oh. I see that our prices are higher than these brands that you've researched. You understand me now? Yes, I do understand, but I can explain. Well, 
I'm willing to listen. So, John, what did you want to talk about? Well, it's about the new prices that you charge. What about my prices? Is there a problem? Lisa, can you show Mr. Smith the competitor analysis that we did? Oh, I see that our prices are higher than these brands that you've researched. Giving explanations. There are three reasons why we cost more than our competitors. Okay. Firstly, we use plastic and not paper to make our products. So, plastic is stronger and more durable. Okay, I see. Secondly, we have a 24-hour service hotline should there be any problems. Mm, yes, I have used this before. Were they helpful? Yes, I suppose they were. And thirdly, we have a 30-day return and refund policy. Okay, none of your competitors offer this. Yes, I know. There are three reasons why we cost more than our competitors. Firstly, we use plastic and not paper to make our products. Secondly, we have a 24-hour service hotline should there be any problems. And thirdly, we have a 30-day return and refund policy. Bargaining. But I still think you're too expensive. But we're the best. But I can no longer afford it. This is a difficult situation. Look, I have to lower my expenditure. How long have we done business together? Fifteen years, and I have been a good customer. Okay, I can give you a 7% discount. Okay, look, David, can you give me a 10% discount? No, I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, I will take the 7% discount. Great. I hope that's helpful. Well, okay. At least I don't have to change suppliers now. Good. I'll send the new contracts over tomorrow. I'll look forward to receiving them. But I still think you're too expensive. But we're the best. But I can no longer afford it. Look, I have to lower my expenditure. Okay. I can give you a 7% discount. Well, okay. At least I don't have to change suppliers now. Unit 10. Handling a complaint. Answering the phone. Hello, Mr. Smith's office. Jane speaking. Yes. Is this the MultiPlus company? Yes, it is. Ah, may I please speak to Mr. Smith? I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Smith is busy right now. Oh. Well, is this the sales and marketing department? Yes, it is. What is the nature of your call? I wish to make a complaint. Okay, sir. You can tell me a complaint. Will you pass it on to Mr. Smith for me? Yes, sir. I will pass it on to him. What is the nature of your call? I wish to make a complaint. Okay, sir. You can tell me a complaint. Holding on the phone. Could you just hold the line a moment whilst I get my pen and paper ready? Certainly. No problem. Okay, I'm ready now. Could I have your name, please? My name is Edward Brown, B-R-O-W-N. And what is your company name? I'm calling from the Brown Sugar Company. Have you been using our products for a long time? Yes, I have. I've been a customer for five years now. 
Could you just hold the line a moment whilst I get my pen and paper ready? Certainly, no problem. Okay, I'm ready now. Could I have your name, please? And what is your company name? Have you been using our products for a long time? Receiving a complaint. Could you tell me what is the problem? Well, recently, the problem has been damaged product packaging. Could you be more specific, please? Yes. When you send me the product, the packaging around it is damaged. Is it also damaged inside? Yes, it is sometimes. Is this the first time you've called to complain? Yes, it is. Are there any other problems? Well, yes, occasionally the delivery arrives a day late. Does this happen often? Yes, it has happened often. Could you tell me what is the problem? Well, recently, the problem has been damaged product packaging. Could you be more specific, please? Is this the first time you have called to complain? Are there any other problems? Well, yes, occasionally, the delivery arrives a day late. Apologizing. Thank you for alerting us to these problems. Well, I hope you can fix them for me. Yes, I am very sorry to hear that you've had these difficulties. That's okay, but I expect to see an improvement soon. Yes, sir. I will pass on your complaint straight away. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for alerting us to these problems. Well, I hope you can fix them for me. Yes, I am very sorry to hear that you've had these difficulties. That's okay, but I expect to see an improvement soon. Unit 11, joining a marketing meeting. In the meeting. Thank you. Make sure you join the office marketing meeting today at 3 o'clock. Okay, I will. It will be a good opportunity for you to meet everybody. Excellent. And you can share any ideas you might have with the team. Sounds like it could be interesting. Yes, these meetings normally are interesting. Sat in the front row. No way. Mm. Oh, it's so unfair. He got his tickets. He gets so long. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Is this your first meeting with us? Yes, it is. Oh, have you met Kevin yet? No, I don't think so. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the product director. Jane, it's nice to meet you too. Mm. Is this your first meeting with us? Oh, have you met Kevin yet? No, I don't think so. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the product director. The meeting agenda. So, what's in the agenda for today? Usually, we'll discuss customer complaints and then possible solutions. And then to finish, we'll talk about ways to improve office organization. So, does anybody have any complaints to report? No. And none from me. None from me. Jane, do you have any? Well, I did get a call from an upset customer. What did he say? He complained that the packages were sometimes damaged. Anything else? Well, he said that the deliveries were sometimes late as well. Jane. Could you give me the customer's information, please? Yes, Mr. Brown from the Brown Sugar Company. I'll look into the packaging problem. Thanks, Anna. So, what's in the agenda for today? 
Usually, we'll discuss customer complaints and then possible solutions. So, does anybody have any complaints to report? Well, I did get a call from an upset customer. Could you give me the customer's information, please? Contributing Ideas Jane, do you have any ideas about how we could improve the office? Don't be shy. We want to hear your ideas. Well, maybe we could move the filing cabinets? Mmm, yeah. And buy some potted plants? What a great idea. Okay, I think we're out of time for this week. Jane, do you have any ideas about how we could improve the office? Well, maybe we could move the filing cabinets? Unit 12, Performance Appraisal. Asking about a pay raise. Yes, Jane, are you ready for your performance review? Yes, I think so. Okay, please come to my office after lunch. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Don't worry. Okay, I'll try not to be. I see that you're always here on time in the morning. Yes, I don't like to be late. And you've managed to handle all the new work. I do like a challenge. Would you like more responsibility? I could handle more responsibility. Hmm. Really? Why? Because I work really hard. Hmm. And what have you learned in your time here? I've learned how to handle difficult customers. Hmm. Would you like a better salary? Yes, I would. Hmm. Okay, I'll review your salary at our next meeting. Thank you. Yes, Jane, are you ready for your performance review? I see that you're always here on time in the morning. Yes, I don't like to be late. And you've managed to handle all the new work. I do like a challenge. Would you like more responsibility? I could handle more responsibility. Asking about holiday time. I would like to apply for some holiday time. Okay. How long have you been working here for? Six months. That means you can have 10 days holiday. Can I take it next month? Maybe. First, you need to fill out an application form. Okay. When will I know when I can go on holiday? Hand the form back to me today, and you should know within two days. I want to go visit my brother in Scotland. Oh, that sounds nice. I would like to apply for some holiday time. Okay. How long have you been working here for? That means you can have 10 days holiday. Can I take it next month? Maybe. First, you need to fill out an application form. Unit 13. Planning a business trip. Organizing the trip. Jane, I have to go away on business next week. Where to? Japan. And what do you need me to do? I need you to organize my trip. Okay, but I'm going to need some information from you first. I have some time now, so let's get started. What date do you want to leave? Next Friday, the 13th. And which city are you visiting? Osaka. And for how many days will you be there? Seven days. Is there a budget for your flight and accommodation? Yes. Call our travel agents. They will fix everything. Jane, I have to go away on business next week. I need you to organize my trip. Okay. 
but I'm going to need some information from you first. What date do you want to leave? And which city are you visiting? And for how many days will you be there? Calling the travel agent. Hello, is that Star Travel? Yes, it is. Yes, I'm calling from the Multiplex Company. How can I help you? I need to make a booking for Mr. Smith. Can you give me the trip details, please? Yes, he would like to go to Osaka, Japan for one week, leaving next Friday the 13th. Okay, thank you. I'll fax the booking confirmation details to you this afternoon. Is that it? Yes. Don't worry. We always book Mr. Smith's overseas trips for him. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. How can I help you? I need to make a booking for Mr. Smith. Can you give me the trip details, please? Yes. He would like to go to Osaka, Japan for one week, leaving next Friday the 13th. Okay. Thank you. I'll fax the booking confirmation details to you this afternoon. Making arrangements. Mr. Smith is going on a trip next week. Is there anything else I need to arrange? Maybe. Did you call the travel agent yet? Yes, done that. Okay, good. Um, did you book the airport limousine? No, not yet. Did you arrange the foreign currency for him yet? No. <laughs> do you even know what to do? No. <laughs> well, don't worry. The limousine is easy. But you will need to change a thousand U.S. dollars into traveler's checks. Where do I get the cash? Well, um, you'll need to fill out a memo and I will issue you the money. Hey, can you give me some money too? Ha ha, very funny. Are you going on a trip as well? <laughs> no. Okay, so I'll write up the memo and I'll send it to you as soon as possible. Good. Mr. Smith is going on a trip next week. Is there anything else I need to arrange? Um, did you book the airport limousine? Did you arrange the foreign currency for him yet? Well, don't worry, the limousine is easy, but you will need to change a thousand US dollars into traveler's checks. Unit 14, working in the office. Office routine. Jane, can you cancel my meetings today, please? Okay. And also book me dinner at the Hilton tonight. What time and for how many people? Seven o'clock for two people, please. Anything else? Yes. If anyone calls, I'm not here. Okay. And please do all the filing as well. All right, then. Jane, can you cancel my meetings today, please? And also book me dinner at the Hilton tonight. What time and for how many people? Seven o'clock for two people, please. Making a reservation. Hello, Hilton Terrace Restaurant. Hello, I'd like to book a table for dinner tonight, please. Uh, yes, madam. What time would you like? Seven o'clock for two people, please. Oh, I'm afraid we're full until 745. Hmm. Okay, I'll take a 745 table. Okay. And what is the name, please? Oh, it's Mr. Smith. 
Okay, we have your booking. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Hello, I'd like to book a table for dinner tonight, please. Yes, madam. What time would you like? Oh, I'm afraid we're full until 7.45. Hmm. Okay, I'll take a 7.45 table. Confirming the reservation. Mr. Smith, the restaurant have a table at 7.45. They don't have one at 7 o'clock? No, I'm sorry. They're already fully booked. Okay, I'll take 7.45 then. Okay. Uh, have you done that filing yet? No, not yet. Okay, please get on with it and uh, bring me coffee as well. Which would you like first, the coffee or the filing? The coffee, please. All right. Mr. Smith, the restaurant have a table at 7.45. They don't have one at 7 o'clock? No, I'm sorry. They're already fully booked. Unit 15, talking with my colleagues. General information. So Jane, do you enjoy working here? Yes, I do enjoy working here. But what do you like about the place? I think the people here are really nice. Ah, uh, that is a smart answer. I know. Hey, are we all still going out for dinner tonight? Yes, I think so. Good. Hey Jane, are you going with us as well? I have a lot of work to finish first. What do you have to do? I have a lot of filing to do, and I have to send some faxes. Hmm. Give me those faxes, and I'll send them for you. Thanks. No problem. So Jane, do you enjoy working here? But what do you like about the place? I think the people here are really nice. I have a lot of work to finish first. What do you have to do? I have a lot of filing to do, and I have to send some faxes. Talking about my previous job. So Jane, where did you work before? I used to work at the Asia Finance Bank. What was it like there? The people were nice, but I didn't really like the job. Is it true they pay high wages? Yes, they pay very well there. <laughs> I would have stayed for the money. I wanted more job satisfaction. Uh, that's the right attitude to have. What was the name of the recruiting manager there? I think it was Dan. Do you still have the number? Yes. If you help me with the filing, I'll give you the number. That's a good deal. So Jane, where did you work before? What was it like there? The people were nice, but I didn't really like the job. Is it true they pay high wages? Yes, they pay very well there. Getting along with my colleagues. What time is everyone going for dinner tonight? We usually leave the office around 7.30. Hopefully we'll be done by then. You've made some good friends here. Do you think I fit in well? You are very popular in the office. Hopefully I'll get a promotion soon. I'd better watch out. Why? Because maybe you'll take my job. <laughs> You've made some good friends here. Do you think I fit in well? You are very popular in the office. Hopefully I'll get a promotion soon. Conclusion I've really enjoyed working for this company. 
This job has been really good for me, and I've met some really nice people. And best of all, I've learned some valuable skills. If I keep working hard, maybe I'll get a promotion or pay raise. You see, if you work hard, anything is possible. Hey, James, come on, are you ready to go? Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. <laughs>